Now, what I would say is the anatomy of the psyche as a practitioner, the way that I work with this is everybody is going through their own journey of healing and everybody has their own challenges. So my role as a um, practitioner is, for example, let's take something that's very common, is I'm working with someone who has dissociation. They are having a lot of difficulty coming into their body and with embodiment. They're not grounded and their um, go-to place is out of their body. So then I would want to really work with the physical body, this first aspect of the psyche. And so, because I want this person, you know, it's very hard to work on anything else if somebody isn't in their body, if somebody isn't um, embodied and grounded. So I want to work on the physical body. So in terms of flower essences, I want to find something that's going to remind them of the resonance of what it is to safely be embodied. So in my range of flower essences, one of the go-to for this would be the sego lily. And the sego lily is a beautiful um, lily that grows on a single, it's a white sort of creamy colored lily that grows on a single um, stalk. Um, and I can, I have um, made my flower essences here in the lower part of the desert um, where I live. But why I chose this particular essence to express this need for embodiment is because it's a very feminine essence. And let's not forget the feminine is embodiment. The feminine doesn't think that's the masculine aspect of life or the yang, the yin, the feminine, the earth aspect of life feels. So if I want to help somebody embody, I want to find a resonance with their feeling matter, with matter, matrix, the mother, the body, the earth, the feminine. So I want to resonate with that and make the, the person feel safe as I encourage them to come into their body with other exercises. Segalele really helps us to resonate with the inner and outer feminine and to, to love that aspect of ourself. Um, you know, there are probably many essences depending on whether you're working with bark flower remedies or whether you're working with other um, groups of essences. You, the role of the practitioner is to find the ones that are going to resonate with the aspect of the psyche that is really needing attention and resonate with the person and the challenge that they're having with that. So this example was dissociation. And, you know, we can look at different examples if we had time for each aspect of 